All right, well, I'm gonna go to the junkyard and see if I can find a tailgate for this thing. Are you gonna be here when I get back? Nope. We're at the local junkyard today. See if we can find any good parts or anything interesting. This place has interesting stuff sometimes. Over here is where they keep the really cool old stuff. Look at that. It's a Carmen Ghia. Wow. This looks like it's probably a 1972 or 73 or 74. It's got the newer style bumper on it. The older ones had like a bi-level chrome bumper. This one's a little beefier. Yeah, this looks like looks like it could be a 72 or 73 or something classic VW air cooled flat four I don't know what size this one is I'm not an air cooled expert someone who is could probably probably identify it just by looking at it really quick just glancing at it but I don't know I think the later ones had the larger one in it, what, the 1400 cc or something? Made like 60 horsepower or so. Basically the same engine that they put in the Beatles at the time. This one's pretty rusty. It's a pretty neat little storage space that they've got in the back of these after the seats fold down. And then they've got like a little trunk space. That's pretty cool. This was probably, in my opinion, the coolest car that Volkswagen ever made. They're cool because of the body. It's like all one piece. And they were a lot more expensive than the Beatles because they were more difficult to make and more effort went into finishing them. I think they made like almost half a million of them, but you just don't really see a whole lot of them. I've never seen one out on the road before. Never seen one at a junkyard. I don't know a whole lot about these except that they're cool. Maybe somebody else has some cool information to share on it. There's 944 here. Manual. This one's pretty beat up. I had one of these. I had a 944 and I had a 924 and I ended up selling both of them but the 944 was really fun with this five-speed transmission it was really really cool and it's cool too because of the the rear transaxle I'd really like to do some kind of a project or something with one of those transaxles one day I don't know what but I like these some people hate on them, but I think they're cool. There's a 240. Yeah. Yeah, this interior is pretty much trashed. I do like these darker interiors though, but this one's pretty much trashed. Too bad it's not a wagon. We really need a rear hatch for the pickup build. 
so we can make a tailgate. Oh, nice. The older badging on these is really cool. Turbo intercooler. Like it's a big deal to have an intercooler. Yeah. Interior is pretty trashed. Automatic transmission. Looks like someone's already taken some stuff off of it. Yeah. Turbo's gone. Cam's gone. Injectors are gone. Still got the grill though. I like the old grills and headlights on these 740s, the more square front. I like that. Oh, nice. This one's still got pretty nice seats in it. Manual. This one's a sedan. I like these Saabs. They're really neat cars. I had a 900S that was a coupe. I liked it a lot. It was a really neat car. This one's still got some nice interior parts on it. Is this what I need? Yep. So that was a pretty fun trip to the junkyard. Got to see some cool stuff. Still didn't find exactly what we needed. What we really need is another rear hatch for a 240 so that we can make the tailgate for the Volvo truck. We really need, we really need to find one of those. It's just one of those things where before we started this project, we saw one at the junkyard a couple months ago, but now they're just there's nowhere they're nowhere to be found. <clears throat> Can't find any 240 wagons for parts that we could get another hatch for, so we could chop it up and make a tailgate for this thing, which we need to do before we paint it and get the bed all finished. We're gonna make the bed probably this coming week, so we'll have an update on that. Hopefully, right now it's coming along. We've just been doing a lot of sanding and filling and stuff so it's kind of boring <clears throat> that Carmen Ghia was really cool so is that I really want to do something with like one of those 944 transaxles maybe I could convince Evan to like do some kind of weird engine swap where we put the transaxle in the rear of this Opal Cadet or something that'd be kind of neat right an Opal Cadet with a rear rear transaxle and something up front. I don't know what we would do for the engine. I wonder if I could convince Evan to do that. Probably not. I'm really excited to get this thing done though. We're trying to do a good job on it so it's just taken a while. But <clears throat> we want it to look decent so it's going to be worth it.